Good morning. It's me, Lee Brown, with a moment for my millennials. Now, if you're watching this video and you are a baby boomer or a very advanced greatest generation who's watching online or maybe you're a Generation X, actually some of you Xs, y'all can listen to this too because you might need this help. This past weekend and actually the weekend before and the weekend before that, this video is a little bit overdue. We ran into this little situation with some millennial buyer clients who were buying some real estate here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. Now, I am just so proud when a millennial pulls the trigger and realizes that renting is way more expensive than buying in our market anyway. Now, if you're on the expensive left coast, then I can't answer for y'all, but it's cheaper here to buy. And they didn't know they didn't have to have a giant pile of cash to buy. So there's all these misconceptions out there, but these sweet young things are pulling the trigger and by the way, since I have to wear my readers today, I can call millennials young things. I'm allowed to do that as I age. But what I found out, <clears throat> y'all, they don't know how to write a check. And this is a little bit concerning to me because you still need to know how to write a check. In fact, this came from your bank. And it probably resides in your junk drawer like most people's checks do. They live in their junk drawer. So when you're ready to buy a house, millennials, and if you're a Generation Z and you're going to buy a house at the age of 18, I'm, we are ready to help you. You're going to have to go to that bank account you opened up and find the book of checks. Now, I'm going to help y'all out today. This is your lucky, lucky day. I will show you how to fill the thing out because uh, <clears throat> we had to help one of our millennial buyer clients fill the check out. So I do not know what you people are doing in the public school systems, but we have got to be educating these young people on credit scores and how to fill out a check. So this is my check on the screen. See, one of the things you might not know is that you get these starter books from the bank, but there's all kind of fun places. You can get your own cute checks printed, and I've seen some really tacky ones in my life. I just like colored swirls because I like some pretty colors, and see, all the checks in my checkbook have different colors. It's so fun and pretty. Now, I did blank out my account information because y'all don't need to know my account number, but you already knew my name, and that's my husband, Steve Brown, and he's got a pretty generic name, so we do carry LifeLock. I recommend everybody carry LifeLock. It's not perfect, but it helps, and there's my address if y'all want to send me presents. You can send me presents. But anyway, that's your check, okay? Now, young people, look up here at the top. That's your check number, okay? Also reflected at the bottom. That's what tells the bank which number check you're sending out. Because if you're really advanced and you're going to balance your checkbook, look, you can keep a list of your checks and how much you wrote them for. I know it's crazy. You even use an ink pen to do that. Look, an ink pen and paper makes a record, okay? Now, over here, this is the date. Y'all going to write the date right there. Look, I'm going to help you do one. We're going to write the date. Today is January. You can abbreviate if you want to. January 8th. It's 2018. Okay? There's how you fill out the date. Look, right here, pay to the order of. You're going to ask your realtor how to fill this out. Now, if you're buying a house from my team, it's going to say Remax Executive because we are a firm that has a trust account where your earnest money deposit will sit. Okay? Now, I want you to know this. Not all real estate companies have a trust account. Now, there's various and sundry reasons why they don't, and if you need me to go off on that soapbox, I can do that at a different time, because that is not my goal this morning, because i got to talk to Patty Sherwood here in a second. And then over here, you're going to put the amount. Now, the amount of earnest money, you will be your realtor. We're going to tell you how much to do that so you can win the bidding war. Just know this. If you've hired some slipshod person who tells you you don't have to put any money down, um, we're going to have to have a talk because that is very poor advice. So let's just guess that you're going to put $1,000 right there. Look, that means you got to have $1,000 in your checking account. So if you don't have any money in your checking account, stop spending everything you got. And if mama's giving you some money, have her give it to you right now so we've got a nice record. And by the way, you can write that down the back here of when the money came into your account. Now, you wrote your number right here. You with me, millennials? You wrote your number. Right here, you're going to spell it out. And I know this is crazy because you have to have your handwriting abilities about you. And look, I can write in cursive. That's proof of how old I am. It says 1,000 and, okay, the and is before you put the cents on there. Now, we try not to do pennies and things in real estate. That's a little exhausting. So I put two zeros over 100. That means 1,000 and no cents, okay? And then the dollars is already written in over here for y'all. But you can write a little line right there with me. So you put the number here and you write it out here. The memo line says four. This doesn't mean four, he's a jolly good fellow. What you're going to write here is four. In my office, we ask you to put EMD, earnest money deposit, and then you'll put your address. So put one, two, three, 
main street right there that helps us with our tracking, okay? Then this line over here at the bottom, you see it right here? How do I point easily? Let's see, i got to practice with this new software. This line right here, you're going to sign your name to it. Sign your name. If you don't know enough cursive to sign your name, please go get one of those little whiteboards at Target. They're in the dollar section and practice some cursive. You need checks to buy a house, y'all. You cannot buy a house with Bitcoin yet. They're working on it, but in the meantime, if you plan to buy a house this year, open your check account, get some checks, practice writing it, and then keep them in your pocketbook at all times. And men, if you have a pocketbook, we'll call it a MERS. Keep it in your MERS and then bring it to us. We will help you buy a house. If you don't have these, you're going to make it really hard on yourself. But we here at Lee Brown, we like to make things easy. So share this with a young person if you love them and if they want to buy a house and whatever else you need, we're here to provide it.